So then guys, Apple has just dropped something that's making the tech world buzz again. The brand new M5 iPad Pro. And trust me, this isn't just another small refresh. This is the biggest leap the iPad lineup has taken in years. Apple didn't just update a few specs. They've redesigned the experience around performance, power efficiency, and most importantly, what Apple now calls AI-ready computing. And yes, I got my hands on it. The 13-inch model in that gorgeous new space black finish. And the first impressions are simply next level. When you pick it up, the first thing that hits you is just how insanely thin this device is. It feels like you're holding a sheet of glass and metal that shouldn't even be real. At only 5.1 millimeters, it's thinner than even the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and yet it still packs more power than most laptops. That's Apple flexing its engineering muscle again. The moment you power it on and that Ultra Retina XDR OLED display lights up, you instantly know this is something different. The blacks are deeper, the highlights are brighter, and even simple animations look like they're jumping off the screen. Now, Apple claims this new display is built for professional creators, and I can see why. The nano texture option for the higher end 1TB and 2TB models is the smoothest matte finish I've ever seen. It cuts glare beautifully while still keeping colors vivid and punchy. It's the kind of display that makes you want to keep creating whether you're editing 8K video, designing artwork, or just scrolling through photos. And speaking of those higher-end models, they come with something extra special, an unlocked CPU core, bumping total performance up even further. The base models already give you a 9-core CPU and 10-core GPU, but the top-end variants go even harder. And that's where the magic of the M5 chip really shines. Apple has taken everything they learned from the M4 and pushed it forward. Benchmarks show around 15% faster CPU performance and 35% faster GPU rendering. But those numbers don't tell the full story. What makes the M5 chip stand out is its ability to handle complex AI-driven tasks in real time. Apple is clearly steering the iPad into a new generation where on-device AI is the heart of the experience. When they announced it, they emphasized how this chip was optimized for AI apps, generative workflows, and smart content creation. Now, while I'm still testing it, I can already feel the difference in how fluid multitasking feels. Switching between apps, processing large files, running creative software, everything happens instantly. It's not just fast, it's responsive in a human way, predicting what you'll do next. That's the power of Apple's new neural engine architecture baked inside the M5. And here's something subtle, but game-changing. Apple has boosted RAM configurations too. The mid-range models now ship with 12 gigabytes of memory, which used to be exclusive to the one terabyte and two terabytes versions. The top models now have 16 gigabytes, and that's a huge step forward for anyone using the iPad as a real work machine. Add to that twice as fast SSD storage, and file transfers feel like teleportation. When you move massive ProRes clips or raw images between external drives and the internal storage, the speed is just mind-blowing. Speaking of connectivity, Apple didn't stop there. The new iPad Pro introduces the N1 connectivity chip, which brings Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6 support. And yes, the performance bump is real. Downloads are faster, airdrop feels instantaneous, and even personal hotspot sharing is rock solid. But the most impressive part is Apple's brand new C1X modem for cellular models. If you're someone who works remotely or travels a lot, you're going to love this. Apple claims it delivers up to 50% faster data performance while consuming less power. I've tested it briefly on Verizon, and the results are pretty remarkable. Pages load quicker, cloud sync is smoother, and even streaming high-resolution content on cellular feels effortless. And let's not forget the entertainment factor. The M5 iPad Pro now supports external displays at up to 120Hz refresh rate, and for the first time, adaptive sync comes into play. That means your external monitor finally feels as smooth as your iPad screen. Gaming and video editing benefit massively. And even just dragging windows between the iPad and display feels completely seamless. 
it almost blurs the line between tablet and desktop. Now, Apple hasn't said much publicly about this, but their promotional images seem to show a studio display-like monitor running at 120 hertz, which hints that an updated studio display 2 or a Pro Display XDR refresh might be coming soon. So yes, the iPad Pro could be the first step in a much bigger 2026 Mac ecosystem shift. Let's talk charging, because Apple is finally catching up here. The M5 iPad Pro supports fast charging capable of hitting 50% in around 30 minutes for the 11-inch model and 35 minutes for the 13-inch one. That's ideal for creators on the go. And yes, you still get a color-matched USB-C cable and charger in the box. A rare treat from Apple these days. Mine came in matching black, which honestly just feels premium. Now, should you upgrade? That's the million-dollar question. If you got an M3 or M4 iPad Pro, you might not need to. But if you're still holding on to an M1 or M2, the difference is staggering. Apple claims up to 6.7 times faster rendering, 5.6 times faster AI performance, and 6 times faster video transcoding compared to the M1. And those numbers actually translate into real-world gains. Editing 8K video, compositing images, or even doing 3D modeling feels buttery smooth. But here's what's fascinating. The M5 iPad Pro isn't just about raw power. It's part of Apple's long-term vision for AI computing that will extend across the entire ecosystem in 2026. Think about it. The M5 lays the groundwork for how future iPads, Macs, and even iPhones will process intelligence locally. It's not just an upgrade. It's Apple preparing the iPad for the Apple Intelligence era, where your device understands context, predicts intent, and integrates seamlessly with the cloud. That's also why the iPad OS 26 update feels so transformative. It's becoming more Mac-like than ever, with a refined multitasking interface, improved stage manager, and better external display management. Combine that with the magic keyboard redesign, which now feels sturdier and more laptop-like, and you basically have a MacBook Pro Lite. For writers, developers, and artists, it's perfect. And then there's the Apple Pencil Pro, which Apple redesigned to support haptic feedback and new gestures. Pair it with that silky OLED screen, and you've got a tool that feels almost analog in precision. Of course, Apple also continues to refine battery efficiency. Even though the iPad Pro is thinner, it still lasts a full working day thanks to that super efficient 3 nanometers architecture of the M5. The thermals are exceptional, no overheating even under heavy workloads. And that's partly why this chip will likely be the baseline for the M6 generation expected in 2026. Imagine this same level of power but across MacBooks, Minis, and Studios, all built on lessons learned from this very iPad. Now, Let's talk design, because Apple's attention to detail here borders on obsession. The new space black aluminum is deeper, darker, and resists fingerprints better than any iPad finish before. Every curve feels deliberate, every port perfectly aligned. And at this thickness, you'd expect compromises, but there aren't any. The speakers still deliver rich stereo sound. The microphones are studio quality, and the front-facing camera has finally been moved to the landscape edge, making video calls much more natural. It's that blend of hardware and software refinement that makes this iPad stand out. When you use it, you don't feel like you're using a tablet. It feels like using the future. Every tap, every scroll, every swipe feels immediate. Apps open faster, transitions are smoother. And thanks to the new AI-powered image rendering engine, even photo editing feels more alive. Filters adapt to content. Shadows are processed intelligently, and you get pro-level results without lifting a finger. And then there's the subtle magic that Apple never brags about. The new thermal design hidden beneath the chassis. It quietly keeps the device cooler, ensuring the M5 chip runs at peak performance longer. You'll notice it when you're exporting a massive video or rendering in real time. No slowdowns, no throttling. It's pure sustained power in a body that's impossibly thin. Now, you might be wondering where this is all headed. The truth is the M5 iPad Pro feels like a preview of Apple's broader 2026 strategy. 
everything about it, from the AI-centric chip to the upgraded wireless system and OLED panel, screams preparation for the next leap. Apple intelligence across the devices. This tablet isn't just competing with other tablets. It's being groomed to replace laptops, drawing tablets, and even desktop setups for millions of professionals. When you add in the fact that Apple's developing Vision Pro integration, where the iPad's display could act as an extended canvas in mixed reality, you start to see how the iPad Pro is quietly becoming the heart of Apple's future ecosystem. And it's doing it elegantly, one generation at a time. So, should you buy the M5 iPad Pro? If you're a power user, a creative, or someone who wants a device that'll last the next five years without feeling outdated, absolutely yes. It's not cheap, but it's genuinely the best tablet on the planet right now. The combination of M5 performance, OLED brilliance, AI readiness, and next-gen connectivity makes it a class apart. But if you already own last year's M4, you might want to wait. Not because the M5 isn't impressive, but because of what's coming next. The M6 iPad Pro in 2026 will likely take everything Apple learned here and push it into full Apple intelligence territory. A completely AI-driven experience that'll redefine what an iPad can do. Still, right now, holding this M5 iPad Pro feels like holding a glimpse of that future. It's sleek, intelligent, and impossibly powerful. A perfect example of how Apple continues to blur the line between tablet and computer. So yeah, that's my first deep dive impression of the M5 iPad Pro. Thinner, faster, smarter, and ready for the AI revolution that's just around the corner. Stay tuned, because my full review with real-world benchmarks, creative workflow tests, and battery breakdown is coming very soon. Make sure you're subscribed, because what Apple has done here truly changes everything we thought we knew about the iPad.